What's up guys, it's Macaw here bringing you another video. Uh, this time it is a XP farm as you can see. Um, my last video did not work out so well. Apparently um, some people are telling me that it is just a ghost block. Um, I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing it's not a good thing. Because ghost block doesn't sound too good. Is it turning nighttime? I don't know, I think it's just raining in other places, but anyways, let's get started with this. Um, now, you might have seen this design before, and I'm sorry for these noisy, noisy NPCs. Let's turn this down. Um, but you might have seen this before, but how do you get an NPC in there? Like, I don't, nobody knows. Why would people show you that without, like, obviously you can only spawn it in creative. So to do it, um, I cannot keep, for some reason, I've tried over and over again, I cannot keep a zombie NPC in here. Uh, it just, I don't know, it just dies. Um, so we're just gonna pretend like this is a zombie, but it's an NPC zombie. So we're gonna have to heal it. So before you want to heal it, you want to uh, let it out and then let it follow you. Like hit it once and then let it follow you. And then you would have a little little walkway here and you'd walk there and then you'd have a you'd have a space to jump out and then cover it up with glass so you can trap him in there while he's a zombie. And then just do that and then I'm gonna show you how to heal him while he's in there. So let me just show you here. Let's just uh, I, I don't know if these guys actually die. There we go. Um, so to cure a zombie, you will need a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple. Now I'm going to show you how to do this, and then I'll show you how to build the XP farm. Um, so let's get started here. First of all, you're going to need three glass. Let's just put those away so we don't get confused. An apple, a gold ingot, a spider eye, a mushroom, a piece of sugar, and gunpowder. Um, these are the materials you will need. So go ahead and put your glass in a formation like this to get three glass bottles and fill those up with water any way you can. Uh, mine went in my inventory. Uh, it'll show up anyways. Um, and then you want to put your glass bottles into the brewing stand. Um, so while they're in the brewing stand, go ahead and make your fermented spider eye, which is just a spider eye, a mushroom, and a piece of sugar and you will get a fermented spider eye. That's probably really the easiest part of this, just to get to that. And um, you wanna wait till that's done. Now while that's brewing, we can go ahead and make our golden apple. Put, put a gold ingot in a crafting bench and you'll get nine gold nuggets. And just go ahead and put those all around a square formation. Put your apple in the middle. Oh, sorry, not working. Does that not work? Okay guys, so apparently that no longer works. I think it did work at one point with just the uh, the, the uh, nuggets, but you have to use actual ingots. So this is a bit hard to get the golden apple. Um, you will have to work for this, but it is a great, great um, XP farm nonetheless. So once you have your golden apple and you have your potion of weakness, go ahead and put a gunpowder in there so you can get a splash potion of weakness. And uh, once you get that, let's just put all this stuff away. You will get a splash potion of weakness. Now you only need one. Um, I'm, not, I'm just not going to wait for that, I just already had one. You only need one, and then you want to jump up here and splash this guy with, oh, watch out. Splash that guy with the Potion of Weakness, and then give him the Golden Apple. You just right click him with the Golden Apple, and it should work just fine. Uh, now he's already an NPC, so I don't need to cure him, so let's just cover this up. Now, all we need is some zombies. Um, let's go over here. Now, as you can see, this is, uh, I kind of just went and I haven't even tested this yet. So we're going to see if this works. And, uh, the whole reason I want you guys to see this is because I want you guys to make your own designs, fiddle with it and tell me, I want feedback. Which one do you think works the best? Tell me how you perfected yours. Um, so I would just want to show you guys, oh, I want to go time, night, time set, night. There we go. Now some should be spawning. Now even if I'm in creative, the uh, zombies won't even be hostile towards me. Uh, by the way, you should probably put ladders right here so when you jump down you don't die. But um, zombies will not be hostile towards me because of the NPC. They always want to go for the NPC. 
Um, now this right here is my little chamber that I would keep the zombies in. Um, I can easily hit them all the way from over there with a diamond sword, but since it's 23 blocks below, um, they will not die, but they will die with one hit. So as you can see, look at all these zombies going for it right now. As you can see, um, look at them all. They're all coming straight for it. I don't, is that spider going to come in? I don't even know. But look, they're all going to fall down there. Look at them all go. There goes one. Okay, so well, apparently they do die at 23, so let's try 24. Not sure if they die at 24 or not, but we're going to find out right now. If not, see, I'm just going to fiddle with it. There you go. It's, uh, it's 20. I don't know what this is, actually. But uh, it seems that I dug a little bit too much. I dug one too much. And look at all these guys that are coming here. The zombies are not host hostile towards me at all. Um, the skeletons and spiders would be, of course, if I wasn't in creative. But look at this. Two hits with uh, no weapon, and they're dead. And look, they're still hostile towards the um, the NPC up there. And I'm getting all the XP. Uh, XP. Um, if you want to get the drops, I would recommend building a redstone uh, pusher where it would push these things towards you so you could just go ahead and grab them. But uh, we don't need that. We don't need this either. So you can just grab the items when the, when the pusher, you have a button here and you press that and redstone or pistons would push this out and uh, you would be able to pick up their items. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how I built it. Um, I built it basically uh, three deep, a three deep hole. Uh, it was seven by seven, but I made it so these, these parts here, so the water would definitely direct them straight towards the, um, the little tunnel there. And then I put water, I put two water here, two water in the middle, and two water on this side as well. And then so it just directs them straight towards our hole. And this is 20, 23, 22 deep. I'm not sure, just fiddle with it. But look at that, we're, all get, we're already getting zombies in here and they can't attack us. Um, even you could lead zombies in here from a long, like a long ways away. But I really like this design just because it's so easy and the zombies aren't hostile towards you. And um, it, this is so easy to make. And look at all of them. Zombies die with two, health, two hits because I don't know why they have more health than other zombies do. Or other things do, I don't know why he's holding his brother's dead stuff. But yeah, that's it. This is this is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys can perfect this and make it better than what I did. Of course, you're going to get some squid in there. I don't know why. But uh, you'll get some squid. So there you go. You get some free ink. <laughs> Does that actually work? No. <laughs> I thought they would like die with one hit or something. But thank you for watching, everybody. This has been McCall. I hope you enjoy this video. I, ho I try to make it my videos really well. And uh, another duplication video will be coming out today also, so stay tuned for that, and thank you for watching, guys. Bye.